Welcome back to another fictionalhead.com quick tutorial. Uh, today's tip is on a really weird tool in Photoshop that not many people use, but it's got some other features, and that is the ruler tool. So one sort of quirk of the tool that I found has actually helped me quite a bit is if you go under the eyedropper here and grab your ruler, uh, it's generally meant to measure distances. So you can do things like this, um, and it'll give you a rough idea based on um, based on relative to the photos DPI and settings what the width and height is and that's all fine and good you might use it to measure out something like this uh, and see that it's 17.056 um, width wide but the cool little quirk of this tool is that you can actually use it to straighten out things so if I wanted this particular angle here to actually be perfectly straight you can just go in use your ruler to draw a line over the part of the photo that you want to be straight. So I'm going to say I want that particular line. And then you can just straighten the layer and it will rotate it so that you can see everything else now is turned relative to this one line being straight. Um, and that can be helpful, one, just for straightening things out if you're planning the focus to be here because then you can always um, recrop the photo in such a way that it looks like it was taken um, correctly. Uh, but another handy use of that tool is prior to applying the ruler straightening, if you turn your layer into a smart object, um, it's going to retain all of its original properties. So now if I were to do this and hit straighten, I can go to my smart object here and transform it. And when I do, it tells me the exact angle that it had to use to rotate the photo. So in this particular instance, it had to rotate it 3.22 degrees in order to get that perfectly straight. Um, and that's just kind of handy. Like in this instance, you might not see the application, but um, in the future, if you ever need to know like the exact angle something is tilted at in a photo or anything in order to like match your design up with it or do anything like that, just be sure you convert your object to a smart object first because uh, otherwise you're going to straighten it and then when you go to transform it, it's just a new rectangular bounding box. Um, but if you convert it to a smart object, it gives you that cool functionality of knowing exactly how far it had to rotate it um, in order to achieve the goal. So just kind of a handy thing. I've used it once or twice in my life. It saved me some time. Thought I would pass it along. So that's the tip. If you found it helpful, helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button. If you want more of these types of tutorials, feel free to subscribe. And as always, if you have any questions or topics you would like me to cover, just let me know in the comments. See you next time.